some of the worst you see is in the US. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just, everything's that much faster. Everything's all about achievement, about more about excess. And you see, I mean, you don't, you don't see the kinds of mental health issues you do in the US all around the world. You know, you, no. you go to Italy and they're like, I'm ha happy. I'm here, drinking my coffee, eating my pasta. I'm living life every day, I'm happy. They work to live, they don't live to work. Americans live to work and that's I'm all so learned. That's programming. That's programming, right? You're not enough. You have you're not good enough. And we get programmed into that every day when we watch TV, mm -hmm. when we watch the commercials. You don't have this, you're not enough. You should buy this. Not only that, but hell, that comes with like, you know, if you're raised uh, Catholic, right? Everyone's born a sinner. Why the fuck are we born sinners? Why can we be born perfect? Why have we not earned this space right now to be here right now? If we can start from a place of not entitlement, but acceptance and fulfillment that we're here for a reason and we've already earned our place. And all we have to do in this life, the sole purpose of life is to live every moment. Because I, I and I kind of want to get into this because I, I talk about this with our friend Austin often, right? Purpose. Everybody talks about what's my purpose. And if you go to a Tony event, Right? They'll make you write your purpose and everybody's got their cool purpose. My, and you stand up and you shout it from the rooftops and you say, my purpose is to change lives by becoming a coach or, or speaking in panels and inspiring people. And then, you know, someone says a better one and you're like, oh, my purpose isn't good, as good as that guy's. <laughs> and then you get to comparing again. Judge. That's not a, you get to judge. judge. You judge yourself. You judge them. Uh -huh. It becomes this vicious cycle. And so what if we redefine purpose, right? And that is what that movie, uh, I don't know if you see that you've seen this, uh, Disney's new movie, Soul. Oh, dude. oh man. I got, so, I just got goosebumps. It's my all time favorite movie now moving forward. If as you're listening to Salva talk about soul, if you can get it, it'll change your life. Get it. Pirate it, Disney Plus it, I don't care. Watch the movie and then watch it twice. Because the biggest message from that movie is that humans think that purpose is something outside themselves that they have to achieve, that they have to be good enough for. But guess what? There's only one purpose of life. That's to live it to the fullest. You can have passions. You can have sparks and projects things that you love to do and you love to pursue that make life worth living, that make life that much juicier, but your sole purpose is to just live in the moment. You know, I did, uh, I did Bufo oh. and the message that I got was that your purpose is to give and receive love and joy. That's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. You just needed to figure that out. Your entire, your purpose is to give and receive love and joy. And I just remember coming back from that and it just, everything made sense. It's one of those moments where you're like, I know the truth, right? I know the truth. I felt, and it's not, it's, it's a knowing through feeling. There's no way to express it or explain it. There is this indescribable feeling, feeling of bliss and joy in that space where there is no pain, there is no suffering, there is no fear, there is, there is only bliss, love, and joy. But bliss is not a feeling that you can feel for very long. It's too intense and too powerful. But we have access to it through, through this glim these glimpses, which is love and joy and connection mm. with others, right? So ultimately, yeah, I'm, I'm, we have all these lofty goals that have been programmed. Mm-hmm to distract Program us consciously. And you said, you, like you said, bliss isn't something that it might be too intense to experience all the time, but we can experience it once a day for 20 minutes in the morning in our meditation. And that can connect us every day a little bit more to it and cultivate that. And it's not about discipline. It's about being devoted and loving yourself enough to give yourself that. It is it is again and i'll remind all of us we're here the minute you're born the objective is to find yourself again 
Okay, that's the whole spoiler alert. You're here to find yourself, right? And it's intentional. It's intentional. Life would be fucking boring if we knew the outcome. So can I add to that? Yeah, bring it on. The the reason why we're here is to find yourself, but you're you'll spend a lifetime looking around because you have to look within. And so maybe finding yourself can be said as undoing yourself. Mm. Because you spend most of your adult life until you come to this moment, realizing that you've just taken on things and you got to take them off. Well said. <laughs> it's like you ever watch our friends and Joey decides to put on everything in the closet. That's what people are walking around right now. 